No. Nope. The brain is divided into the cerebrum, which is the bigger part, and the cerebellum, which is the littler part, the fissura longitudinalis cerebri, and the fissura transversa cerebri. So the three main divisions of the brain are the proencephalon, the mesencephalon, and the rhombencephalon. So the proencephalon. So the proencephalon has the telencephalon and the diencephalon. So within the telencephalon, we have the rhinencephalon, which you see from the ventral part or the base of the brain, the neopallium, which lies on the dorsal, lateral, and sometimes medial surface of the hemisphere, and the central components, which you see in the cross section. So we're going to describe the telencephalon. Yeah. So the um, rhinencephalon is the first part. <laughs> the rhinencephalon is broken down into three main parts, the pars basalis, the pars septalis, and the pars limbica. The pars basilis has the bulby olfactory, the pedunculi olfactory, the tractus olfactorius, lateralis medialis, the trigona olfactoria, the lobi piriformis, and the substantia perforata rostralis. The other part is the neopallium, which has the lateral medial and dorsal surfaces. There's different sulcuses, but the ones we need to know are the sulci of demarcation, which is the sulcus renalis lateralis and the sulcus hippocampi. And now we're going into the central components. <coughs> So the central component, which is inside the hemisphere on the median section, is the corpus callosum, which has the genu and the rostrum, which are rostrally by the bulbus olfactorius, and then the lamina splenium, which is dorsal, the fornix, which is ventral from the corpus callosum, the septum pellucidum, which is the border between the two corpus callosum of each hemisphere, the ventriculus lateralis encephaly, which are the chambers, the cornu ammonis, also called the hippocampus, which is caudally, and the nucleus caudatus, which is rostrally, And we're going into the diencephalon. Yeah. So the diencephalon has the first division, which is the phalomencephalon, which has the thalamus. The thalamus has the thalamus opticus, the adesio interphalamicia, however you say it, and then the ventriculus tertius. The second division of the phalomencephalon is the metaphalamus, which has the corpus geniculatum, yeah, laterale and mediale. And then the epithalamus, which is between the um, corpus genitalatum, laterale and mediale, and that has the corpus penale and the habenue. Mm -hmm. The hypothalamus, which you see from the ventral surface, you have the chiasma opticum, which is the crossing of the nervi opticus, the tractus optici, the tuber cinerum, was the infundibulum, the hypothesis. That's formed coming out of the funnel, isn't it? And the corpus mammillare. Around. And that's it.